the, the question is about division within the ranks of the Muslims which mitigate against the development of power. Sectarian divisions, the Shia, Sunni, Deobandi, Brelvi, Sufi, Salafi. The first step in responding to that is that you and I must stay away from every single sectarian movement. Do not be a member of any sectarian movement. It is only when you stand outside of the sectarian divide, only then you have credentials to address it. After you have declared that I am not this and I am not that and I am not the other, I am a Muslim. Now you have to work to bring the Sufi and the Salafi together. Is it possible? Yes it is. Yes it is. This is the reason why I declined to lead the Salat. <laughs> yes. Because if I led the Salat, then after we have the Salams, there will be silence in the Masjid. Any tazkirat, any azkar, will be done silently. If people are late for salat and they're still praying, they would not be disturbed. Hmm? The way to unity is to begin with the masjid. And in the masjid, only the Quran and Sunnah must prevail. No matter what it is, no matter how long you've been doing it, no matter how beneficial it may be, if it is not based on the Quran and the universally accepted Sunnah, do not bring it in the masjid. No. You can practice it at home. Yeah. Pardon me? <laughs> when you find yourself in a community where you cannot bring back the sunnah to the masjid as I have found myself many times what do you do? this is what I am doing I am not picking up boxing gloves no I am doing something more beautiful and more graceful I'm moving to the remote countryside, something that you Malay call the Kampung. You heard about Kampung? If you never heard about it, wait until Hari Raya come and try to drive on the road. <laughs> Hari Raya for our audience is a uh, idle fiddle. Hmm? I'm moving to the remote countryside. And in the remote countryside, I'm trying to build a Kampung, a Muslim community, a Muslim village small. It poses a threat no, to nobody. And in that kampung we have only one masjid. Only one. And in that masjid we strive and struggle to ensure that only that is permitted in the house of Allah which is based on the Quran and on the universally accepted sunnah. And so whether you are Sufi or Salafi or Shia or Sunni or this or that or the other, when you come to this masjid and you accept the Quran and the Sunnah, then everybody will worship together in unity. This is my formula for uniting the people. First step, get out of the sectarian divide. Do not be a part of any sectarian movement. Second step, build the masjid. And in that masjid, Quran and Sunnah. And then from that masjid, you now turn to the public life of the village. Not the private life. So if I want to celebrate uh, Miladun Nabi, Maulid, uh, the birth anniversary of the Prophet, that's not in the Quran. That's not in the Sunnah. But large numbers of Muslims do it. 
And they've been doing it for long, 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 long years. I think boxing gloves is going to be more damaging than beneficial. Uh, so if you want to wage war, you go ahead. I'm not going to do it. I would say you can celebrate your Miladun Nabi, but do it in private. Don't bring it in the public. That's all. <coughs> and when you're doing it in the private, and this fellow is not invited because he opposes it, and he now stands up and starts shouting bid'ah and shirk. Lift him up and throw him, out, throw him out of that village faster than Federal Express. Because he's an agent of fitna. I don't care if he's annoyed with me when he listens to this lecture. It doesn't bother me. This is the format, formula for unity. 